Hello painters, we're here in Hidden Valley in the South Island of New Zealand. I could tell you where but I'd have to come and kill you. It's also called Secret Valley and Thou Shalt Not Know Valley. And here's the beautiful scene I'm thinking of. Just love all these big dark shapes in here and this uh, neat little river going through it. Mountains back there, beautiful uh, swish in the landscape. Although well, I could equally move these over and use that instead. But uh, my main focus is this foreground here, all these interesting shapes and the river running through it. Uh, this big dark mass here, these nice little chinks of light within the dark shapes. So, uh, pretty neat scene full of opportunity. I've masked out a long panoramic type canvas so I'm gonna see what I can do about squeezing all of this into that little canvas. Now I'm working with acrylic so I'm gonna be painting really fast uh, to achieve the wet and wet look that I like and uh, so I'll be using a big brush and there's the composition it's gonna be big dark shape here joining into a cast shadow there and different dark shapes here with this river running through it and just a hint of the mountains the color scheme is going to be a, a blue and orange so there's the blues quickly dashed in with a huge brush now I got some of the oranges in there now I got most of the darks and the dark accents in and here's a little trick for this um, shimmer of water in here. See that in there? So I'm going to darken this area off a little with a, uh, a dark bluey grey. Uh, so I really intensify the blues and the darks before I go in with the, the light blue shimmer of the sky for reflection. And that's going to help create sort of a glowing effect of that light shimmer in that dark area. So just got this dark bluey purple and just brushing it over that area. Go in with the lighter blue. Quite thick. And pop in the highlights in there. Meanwhile, here's John battling away with a big one. So here's the finished painting. Um, you can see that I stuck with the original idea of having these big dark shapes and the river running through it and just the hint of the mountains in the background. So I like all of that. Um, a couple other things I like about it. Uh, the, um, the strong colors through this area here and the fact that I got some of this punchy blue in here and balanced that up with some of this pretty much straight cadmium red here so I like that uh, I like the fact that I put this mist in here and softened that all off but countered it with a sharp edge here and so we've got a bit of that um, variety and edge work I like the shape of the river as it turned out and the fact that we've got uh, a lot of intense darks here surrounding the little light areas which makes them pop out all the more. I uh, like how this colour worked as the reflection and how this whole, yeah the water worked pretty well I think and that gradual transition. Uh, that gradual color change and slight value change getting slightly darker here <clears throat> Yeah, I like the general shape of the whole thing and the balance Sort of built around thirds, you know So that's all good um, 
one thing I don't really like about it is the actual uh, texture, this dry scratchy texture that you get with acrylics while painting outdoors. It's pretty hard to maintain a wet and wet feel with acrylics. I know there's lots of things that you can do to help, um, but I would prefer to be to have done this painting in oils uh, where I can get a full on wet and wet effect. I know some people might like this effect. What I do love is that I can actually do this, that's cool. Whereas uh, <laughs> that, that would be a ruined painting if it was in oils. So nice that I can just pop it in the car and it's all, I can take it straight to the gallery now. That's pretty cool. Um, so I'd be interested to know what you think of the painting. What could be better, what could be worse? I could, how could I improve this or what would you have done with this scene? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate any feedback that you do place in the comments below in the YouTube video. Um, remember if you want to see more videos like this then you can just subscribe to the YouTube channel and there's lots more coming all the time. And if you want full painting lessons then feel free to go to my website livepaintinglessons.com uh, for full painting lessons there. Uh, appreciate you watching the video and uh, taking the time with me here in Hidden Valley in New Zealand. Beautiful spot. Look at that.